Well, I want to see guys come out and fly around like it's a game type tempo. I want to see the special teams, uh, mechanics of the special teams, getting people on and off the field and people knowing where they're at. And we got to get some good evaluation as to which kids belong in which slot from the special teams perspective in addition to offense and defense. But, uh, you know, it's our first time, full go, let's go, let's see how they respond. And, and we've taken some precautions because the weather's supposed to be a little crazy in the afternoon. We're going to try to get things done early as we get our work done. Well, quite a few, because, you know, essentially after this week, we kind of start turning our attention toward our first opponent, and we'll start scouting things up and, and uh, running their offense and defense. So there will be some evaluation from this point on, but uh, but primarily a lot of the decisions we made are just Listen, we're, we're, when we even when we're up, we're playing. We're full go, no tackle. You know what I'm saying? And we're being smart about stuff, so it's really like they've had four days in pads mm -hmm. because they've actually had the, the shoulder pads on. and. Yes, we're not cutting. That will be the different part. Yes, we're not tackling the ground. That will be different. But uh, from the execution standpoint of both sides of the ball, we should still be going full speed anyway, so we shouldn't see that much difference. And I think, you know, you can't make the club in the tub, as they say, so you got to get yourself out in the field. And I'm seeing, and that's what always the magical elixir is. As we get closer to game time, all of a sudden the aches and pains don't feel as bad, the hurts aren't so bad. So, uh, but, but they've got to be prepared to do that. And to do that, they've got to get back in practice. And I think we're going to get quite a few of them back next week. And I think we're being cautious too you know we want to make sure that that we have them in September you know this tomorrow scrimmage while it's important it's not as important as game day and so we got to make sure we take the long-term view of this thing but uh, but yeah if they want to get a starting position they're gonna have to get their tails out there and get going uh, we're probably gonna get around uh, 80 snaps total and we're really gonna work a lot on special teams and get that stuff and because we've got some uh, some decisions to make as to who's gonna travel and things like that so we've got to get those things jarred up so uh, so we're gonna look about 80 snaps about 40 with each group which is a little bit more than half a game and uh, and then we'll go from there